Uh, let me put it this way. When you work at the highest level, you have a clout or some level of clout over the people that you work with. So if you're in a position of power, then for example, in my position, I was working in the cabinet, I was uh, working with the national security cluster, um, then I have access to all of them so I can bring them together. However, the difficulty is the vast majority of people, especially those in the grassroots, those who are in political positions, uh, those who are in the opposition, how do you bring them together? Um, so the thing is, uh, so you have a, a vast majority of people wanting to connect to the people on the top and the people on the top. Um, also fearing uh, connecting to the people because uh, many of them think that um, if they had if they have some very uh, they have some ideas that they would like to work with they would simply want to persuade people at the bottom and not necessarily have to hear what the people have to say you also have structures uh, in a democratic um, uh, in a de democratic environment, where uh, the process, the processes that are being used are what you call um, non-inclusive. For example, you would have hearings where there is somebody in front who gives his ideas, and uh, groups of people asking one or two questions, and they think they have a dialogue that had already been created. But this is not so. So the, some policymakers, after hearing what some of the questions that people say, they may be they may make a little revisions to their proposals, and then they bring it to the national um, arena and push these ideas, not knowing that there was really no connection at all. So we needed to create a process, a model where people can really be truly heard, and so uh, we. We thought that there was, it was very important to get these groups together. And so a model such as the reflective democracy, the reflective dialogue that we put together, created an opportunity for that where people who had the information, such as the academics, uh, people who had worked the issues, could um, uh, put across what were their impressions about certain ideas then get people from the bottom to just clarify this issue so that they have a better understanding and then these people at, uh, in, in the grassroots coming together in small groups being able to discuss these issues at length with other people who are uh, as interested as they are in these issues from various levels and then by this uh, what you might call cross-pollination they are able to shape their ideas shape their opinions and then at the bottom, uh, at the, at the bottom line of, of, of it all is at the end of the discussions, then the people can now form their opinions and form their consensus. And so now you have a whole spectrum of people from top to bottom, you know, having had the opportunity to really come together and create uh, decisions uh, together.